Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be giving you an updated version of my power plant guide and how to create the best power plant for your PC so you get increased FPS and lower latency. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Mondays at 5pm East. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server which will be linked in the description below. After you join it, you want to head over to the programs channel and then in here, you want to scroll up till you see Power Settings Explorer. Once you have that, you want to download it and just put it somewhere where you can access it. So once you have Power Settings Explorer installed, you want to right click it and then click Run as Administrator. And then in here, I'm just going to be going through all of these settings and letting you know what I will change in case I was making my own power plan. So you can create something for yourself that works best for you. So the first thing we're going to do is look at AHCI Link Power Management. We're going to set this to active. Turn off hard disk after, we're going to set this to zero. AHCI Link Power Management Adaptive, we're going to set this to zero. Secondary NVMe Power State Transition Latency, set that to zero. We'll turn NVMe NOPPME to off. This primary one right here, we're going to set this to zero as well. Power saving mode, make sure that's on maximum performance. Legacy RTC mitigations, disable that. Sleep after, make sure that's on zero. Allow standby stage, turn on to off. Allow wake timers, set that to disabled. Hub selective suspend timeout, set that to zero. Allow wake timers, set that to disable, I don't know if I covered that just now. USB selective suspend setting, set that to disabled. USB 3 link power management, turn that to off. IO coalescing timeout, make sure that's on zero. Deep sleep enabled, just disable that. Interrupt steering mode, on some PCs processor 1 works good and on other PCs any processor also works good so I'm just going to use any processor for the sake of this video. That's something you would have to test though. Link state power management, turn it to off. Processor core party min cores, if you want Intel 11th gen or under, you want to set this to zero and you'll you also look for processor performance core parking max cores which is somewhere lower down here and you'll set that to zero also but if you're on ryzen or on intel 12th gen or above you just want to keep this to 100 allow throttle states you want to set this to off though processor performance decrease policy set that to ideal and you'll set it to ideal right here also the second one processor idle disable if you want to make sure that your PC and your CPU is set to idle disabled, you would want to turn enable idle to disable idle. But if you do this, and you'll see you click apply down here, you go in task manager, you'll see 100% CPU usage. This is just a visual bug. And in terms of performance, I would recommend you keep this to disabled. But if you want to make sure that your CPU doesn't use up a, tower, a ton of power consumption, which is what this is going to cause, then just keep it to idle enabled. But it doesn't really make too much of a difference, so I'll just keep it to disabled if you can. Going down heterogeneous policy in effect. By default, it's on 4. I've been playing around with this for a bit, and I've seen that 2 also works decently well. So you can test this for yourself. If you're not too sure, just leave it on 4. Turn off display after, and you want to set that to 0. Adaptive display, you don't want to have any of this stuff on. Set that to off. There's one more setting down here. Forgot. Energy saver policy. Make sure that's on user and none of this is set to aggressive. On a power saving power plant, this will be set to aggressive. Just make sure it's on user. But once you're done with all of that, you'll see that your settings will be highlighted bold for the ones that you changed. And if that's the case, you just want to make sure you select your power plant on the bottom that you're changing these settings for. Click apply on the bottom left. And then that's really it. It's going to apply all of these settings for you.
Now obviously there are a lot more settings that you can change within there that also impact your performance. If you're interested in those, you can join my Discord server which will be linked in the description below and ask about them within my server and you'll get some answers on as to what you can do further. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this on Mondays at 5pm. But yeah, see you in the next one.